Good morning, dear movie enthusiasts. Today, our film is called Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. It tells the story of a world full of magic and sorcery before Harry Potter was born. Let's dive in. The film takes place about 70 years before Harry Potter's time. During that period, there was a wizard named Grindelwald who fought against humans and killed them because wizards believe that humans posed a threat to them and needed to be eliminated. Next, we meet the wizard Newt Scamander, a graduate of Hogwarts school and an expert in magical creatures. He travels to America to prove to the wizards there that magical creatures are not dangerous and can be easily controlled. Newt Scamander carries a magical suitcase filled with magical creatures that he has captured and interacted with before. When he arrives in America, he is recognized by the people, including Tina, who is a member of the American Magical Congress and closely observes him. Later, Newt Scamander visits a bank in America where many people are gathered to discuss a major societal issue. While there, a magical creature escapes from his suitcase and enters the bank to collect various coins. Newt Scamander quickly follows it to prevent any trouble. At the same time, a man named Jacob enters the bank to apply for a loan. As he waits, he sits next to Newt Scamander and attempts to get to know him. However, Newt Scamander hastily runs after the escaped creature, and an egg falls from his suitcase. Jacob picks it up and puts it in his pocket before applying for the loan. Unfortunately, Jacob's loan application is rejected. As he exits the bank, he tries to find Newt Scamander to return the egg that fell from his suitcase. However, Newt Scamander quickly uses his magic wand to retrieve the egg and disappears before anyone can see them. Suddenly, they notice that the escaped creature enters a vault. Newt Scamander and Jacob rush to retrieve it, but a bank employee spots them near the vault and triggers the alarm bell. Without hesitation, Newt Scamander uses his wand to immobilize the employee, quickly captures the creature, grabs Jacob, and escapes from the bank. Jacob is astonished by everything he has witnessed and tries to comprehend it. Newt Scamander attempts to explain and calm him down, but to no avail. In frustration, Jacob hits Newt Scamander, takes his own suitcase, and runs away. However, by mistake, Jacob takes Newt Scamander's suitcase, and their bags are switched. Meanwhile, Tina, who has been observing Newt Scamander, approaches him and asks what he is doing in America and what just happened in front of her. Newt Scamander starts explaining everything to her, and Tina asks if he erased the memory of the person who saw him earlier. Newt Scamander confesses that he forgot to do it, and the person escaped. Tina realizes that she needs to apprehend him because he violated wizarding laws. They both agree to go to the Magical Congress of the United States of America, Makusa, to handle the situation. They go together to Makusa, where Tina explains everything to the officials. Unfortunately, they dismiss Tina and inform her that she has been transferred elsewhere and no longer has a place with them. Upset by this decision, Tina takes Newt Scamander with her to her new workplace, the Wand Permit Office, where she will spend the rest of her life. Meanwhile, they encounter a man named Graves. Tina asks Newt Scamander why he had visited the director earlier, and Newt Scamander tells her everything. Tina decides to open Newt Scamander's suitcase and distributed the flyers. Meanwhile, Newt Scamander and Tina were still searching for Jacob's house, which they initially didn't know. At that moment, Newt Scamander managed to spot one of his escaped beasts running. They continued to chase after it until they reached a dilapidated house, where a crowd had gathered outside in disbelief of what had happened. Jacob was lying unconscious on the ground. Tina decided to take Jacob to her house to treat him and inform him about what had occurred. They all traveled together, using their magical powers to teleport instantly. Afterward, Credence and his companions went with them to investigate the incident and understand more about the magical creatures that Newt Scamander had with him. They were all surprised when they discovered that the creatures had switched places with Jacob's pastries in his suitcase. Later, when Jacob returned home and opened the suitcase, he was terrified by the presence of the creatures. They then went to an orphanage, where they encountered a person named Credence. He and his fellow orphans were distributing flyers. During this time, Newt Scamander and Tina were still searching for Jacob's unknown house. Suddenly, Newt Scamander noticed one of his escaped beasts running away. They followed it until they arrived at a ruined house, where a crowd had gathered outside, unable to believe what had happened. Jacob lay on the ground, unconscious. Tina decided to take Jacob to her house to treat him and explain the situation. They all instantly teleported to Tina's house. Afterwards, Credence and his companions joined them to investigate the incident and learn more about the magical creatures that Newt Scamander had in his suitcase. They were astonished to discover that the creatures had been swapped with Jacob's pastries. Later, when Jacob returned home and opened the suitcase, he was terrified to find the creatures inside. They then went to an orphanage, where they encountered a person named Credence. He and the other orphans were distributing flyers. At that time, 
Jacob was surprised by everything and couldn't believe what his eyes were seeing. He wondered how there could be a whole world inside Newt's commander's suitcase. In that moment, Newt's commander realized that three creatures had escaped from the suitcase. They quickly emerged from the suitcase and returned to their own world, roaming the streets in search of the missing beasts before Tina and Queenie woke up from their sleep. Then a great disturbance occurred in the demiguise and there was a loud noise. Tina and Queenie woke up and became worried when they realized that Jacob and Newt's commander were not at home. At that moment, Newt's commander and Jacob managed to capture two of the escaped beasts. They quickly entered the suitcase together to ensure the safety of the creatures. Meanwhile, Tina had gone out to the streets to look for them and make sure they were okay. She saw the suitcase and realized that Newt's commander and Jacob had entered it. Tina became concerned for their safety, grabbed the suitcase, and ran with it to the Magical Congress of the United States of America. At that moment, there was a grand ceremony being held to inaugurate the building in New York, where the son of the man who raised the orphaned children in the newspaper would be installed. Suddenly, a terrible tragedy occurred at the ceremony. A dangerous dark force entered and attacked, immediately killing the newspaper owner's son. Afterward, they went to the Magical Congress of the United States of America, where the members were gathered and concerned about the terrible incident that happened to the newspaper owner's son, as it was related to magic. Then, at that moment, Tina entered the meeting with the suitcase. She spoke to the officials and informed them about everything, including Newt's commander's suitcase. The director said to her, so you knew everything and now you come here? Tina understood that she had come before, with Newt's commander, but was dismissed. After that, Tina opened the suitcase, and Jacob and Newt's commander emerged from it. Everyone asked about the reason for the newspaper owner's son's death. Newt's commander spoke up and said, indeed, the newspaper owner's son died, but I have no idea. Everything that happened was due to an evil spirit that has been present since the days when wizards were persecuted and killed. He continued, at that time, some people had to suppress their power within themselves to prevent anyone from reaching them and killing them. However, this power evolved and became a dangerous black magic capable of corrupting everything around it. The director did not believe a word Newt's commander said. She decided to detain Tina, Jacob, and Newt's commander until they could verify everything they had said or find evidence. Then, Graves took Newt's commander aside and asked him about the beasts. Newt's commander explained that all the beasts he had were harmless and wouldn't hurt anyone. At that moment, Graves opened Newt's commander's suitcase and a dark, evil spirit came out. Graves asked Newt's commander about it, and he explained that it was the spirit of a girl who had died long ago, and he had taken her with him in the suitcase to study and understand her nature. Graves questioned, so, this spirit has no purpose without its companions? Newt's commander felt that something was wrong and that they were with the wrong person. He realized that Graves was responsible for something happening in the world because he wanted to use the spirit he possessed in any way possible. This made him very worried and suspicious. After that, Graves decided to execute Tina, Newt's commander, and Jacob. He raised his wand, a look of determination on his face, as he prepared to cast the killing curse. But just as he was about to unleash the spell, a loud crash echoed through the room. Giant chunks of debris fell from the ceiling, causing Graves to lose his focus. Amidst the chaos, a figure emerged, holding a wand of her own. It was none other than Queenie Goldstein, Tina's sister. Queenie swiftly cast a powerful spell, disarming Graves and rendering him defenseless. She then used her legilimency skills to delve into Graves' mind, uncovering the truth behind his actions. It turned out that Graves was not really Graves at all. He had been impersonated by Gellert Grindelwald, a dark wizard notorious for his cunning and manipulation. Grindelwald had taken on Graves' appearance using Polyjuice Potion, deceiving everyone around him. With the truth exposed, Queenie swiftly incapacitated Grindelwald, binding him with magical restraints. Tina, Newt, and Jacob were saved from the brink of death, thanks to Queenie's timely intervention. The chaos subsided, and the room fell into an eerie silence. Tina and Newt exchanged grateful glances, acknowledging the bravery and quick thinking of Queenie. They realized that they had narrowly escaped a terrible fate, but the danger was not entirely over. They knew they had to bring Grindelwald to justice and ensure that his evil plans were foiled. With a renewed sense of purpose, Tina, Newt, Queenie, and Jacob prepared to face the challenges ahead, united in their determination to protect the wizarding world from darkness and destruction. When they entered, Tina saw a picture of a girl there and asked the wizard Newt's commander about her. But the wizard Newt's commander didn't want to talk and remained silent. Here, the brave Queenie said to him, do you mean Letta? And the wizard Newt's commander replied, you, miss, I've been silent with you from the beginning. If you read my thoughts again, I'll hex you. Afterward, Credence contacted Grindelwald and learned everything that had happened. Grindelwald arrived immediately, and Credence said to him, 
My sister is the one who possesses the Obscurus. Credence asked him to teach him magic as promised. But here, Grindelwald laughed at him and revealed that he had been using him all this time to reach the evil Obscurus. Grindelwald struck him and threw him to the ground, moving toward his sister who possessed the evil Obscurus. However, at that moment, the wall behind Grindelwald shook, revealing that Credence was the one who possessed the evil Obscurus, and he had tricked Grindelwald and set a trap for him. Grindelwald tried to deceive him, but Credence, filled with anger, unleashed his power throughout the city, causing massive destruction. Here, Tina and Newt's commander learned what had happened and understood that the evil Obscurus belonged to the orphan boy who was once in the orphanage with Tina and Queenie. Newt's commander asked Tina to try to distract Grindelwald until he could calm Credence and gain control over him. However, Grindelwald managed to get rid of Tina. Then, Newt's commander approached Credence and tried to calm him, but Grindelwald intervened and attacked him with his magic. Credence's anger intensified. Afterward, Tina intervened and spoke, and Credence was calmed when he recognized her voice as the girl who was with him in the orphanage, and his gaze fell upon her. Suddenly, members of the American Wizarding Congress entered and managed to defeat Grindelwald and eliminate his evil Obscurus. Grindelwald exclaimed, how could you destroy it? Do you understand what you have done? The director replied, I ordered it because we have been exposed to the whole world, and everyone knows that evil lies within us, which is against our laws. Grindelwald screamed at her, revealing that he would not give up and would deal with them on his own terms, far away from their world. The director ordered his arrest, and he tried to escape, but Newt's commander caught him with his magical creature. After that, they discovered that it was Grindelwald and not Graves, and all this time he had been disguised as Graves. They captured him and took him to prison, but he warned them that he would not stay silent and would return to them. Here, the director apologized to Newt's commander and admitted that he was right about everything. However, there was a problem for her because people knew what had happened, and they couldn't let a whole city forget what had occurred. But Newt's commander released a beast from his case and made it fly in the air while carrying a forgetting potion. The reign of the potion caused everyone to forget everything completely. Afterward, the wizards began to rebuild the city due to the extensive damage caused by the Obscurus, so people wouldn't dwell on what had happened after they forgot everything. Then, the director thanked Newt's commander, and later she realized that they had to reorganize their entire governing system to prevent such a catastrophe from happening again. They needed to establish better regulations and protocols to ensure the safety and well-being of both wizards and non-wizards. As the city began to recover, Tina and Newt's commander shared a heartfelt moment. They acknowledged the challenges they had faced together and expressed their admiration and affection for each other. It was a bittersweet moment as they knew their paths would soon diverge once again. Meanwhile, Queenie was devastated by the turn of events. She had lost Jacob, the love of her life, due to the chaos caused by Grindelwald and the Obscurus. She mourned his absence and struggled to find solace in the aftermath. Newt's commander, understanding Queenie's pain, approached her and offered his support. He reassured her that they would find a way to bring Jacob back and restore the happiness they once had. Queenie found comfort in his words and drew strength from their friendship. In the aftermath of the battle, Credence, still struggling with his powers, questioned his identity and purpose. He felt lost and conflicted, torn between his past and the uncertain future that lay ahead. Newt's commander, recognizing Credence's turmoil, extended his hand, offering guidance and understanding. Together, they embarked on a journey to explore Credence's origins and seek answers about his true nature. Along the way, they encountered ancient magical beings and delved into forgotten histories, uncovering secrets that would shape their destinies. As they ventured deeper into the magical world, they discovered that Grindelwald's influence had spread far and wide. Dark forces were gathering, threatening to plunge the wizarding world into an era of darkness and oppression. Newt's commander and his companions knew they had a crucial role to play in the battle against these rising forces. And so, their quest for truth and justice continued, as they fought to protect the values they held dear and prevent Grindelwald's return. Their paths intertwined, their bonds grew stronger, and together they stood against the encroaching shadows, united in their determination to preserve the harmony between the magical and non-magical worlds. But the future remained uncertain, and the challenges they faced were far from over. The battle against darkness would test their courage, loyalty, and resilience like never before. As they forged ahead, they knew that their choices would shape not only their own fates but also the destiny of the wizarding world. And so, the story of Newt's commander and his allies continued, an epic tale of magic, friendship, and the relentless pursuit of what is right. As they faced new trials and encountered new allies and adversaries, their journey became a testament to the power of hope and the enduring spirit of the wizarding world.